Yo, new levels, new levels. The whole crew's on that new level. What up, what up, what up, CV World? This is your boy Millie back with another episode of Praça Azul here with my co host K, K Legomsh. Happy 2024, K. Happy 2024. Yeah. It's kind of hard to say it. Why? It's like, it sounds it's too- like the first time you said it. <laughs> I wrote it for the first time, I think two days ago. I was like, oh shit, I'm not 23 anymore. Uh, New Year's resolutions, come on, tell me. How many pounds are you looking to gain? Or lose? Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely looking to lose. Why? Lose some, but thick, I, I thick think girls, I'm happy. Thick girls are back in style, though. Huh? Thick girls are back in style. But this is the right time to get In gains. body shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because... This is when you work on summer body. When the summer comes, you ready. What else are you doing this year? Um, Trying to be more creative. Creative. For sure. Artful, like, artsy. Artsy, and also be involved with the community. What, what concerts you try to see this year? That's a good one. Concert. Oh. Who you want to see? Cape Verdean artists that you definitely want to see this year. Um, Who needs to that's come a to good America? One. Let's manifest manifest that's your favorite word. Maybe Ivandro Kuchi. Kuchi! Um <laughs> of else? course. No, I want I want Maya Andrade to come. Like her like we're doing solo. You've never seen her? Like I have seen her um, Nelson Freitas he show mm-hmm. with Georgie. Oh, I you think saw it was the Creole King. That big one, yeah. yeah Kings, yeah. They did okay. In Providence, that was amazing. That was up. Yeah, that was. I actually thought that she, it was her show, <laughs> even though she. She, she only sang did a few like, songs, yeah. Yeah, she sang a few songs, but it was. She killed oof. it. Yeah, she's it, a she's a force. Beautiful. She's it was a beautiful. It was beautiful. I want to see Nana on stage. Who else I, I want to see? I think I've seen her before. I want to see Jocelyn. Did she yeah. end up doing that show or what? No. I don't think I so. I don't know right? what happened, but she didn't. She didn't do the show on New Year's? Nope. That sucks. I, I, they probably, I but think, she was here. Yeah, she was. And then I feel like it's because they didn't take enough time to kind of promote it. They probably didn't sell enough tickets. Mm. I'm thinking that's the reason why they that didn't sucks. do it. That sucks. That sucks. Having an artist like her here uh-huh. and just not being able to do it because of marketing damn that sucks who, yeah, who was the who was the promoter? i found it like kind of suspicious because she posted a flight and then took it off who was the promoter she did took it off uh don't can recall well they don't want their names they don't want their names out there anyway <laughs> I don't recall the names. but yo do a better job next time man come on you're messing yeah. up people's new years the cape verde team at the at the africa cup that's like nation nations nation. africa yeah. cup nations yeah yeah man cape verde yeah, qualifiers nice. they're the 16s right now they just won they just uh, tied um egypt today two, oh two. yeah that was like the one that they tied, but they didn't have to they could have lost that one and they would have still gone gone to the next round so now it's going to the round where it's serious mm. okay now it's if you lose you go home mm. so now it's going to be tough 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 but i saw i i watched uh I, could, I didn't see well i saw the last game i saw live but i didn't see the previous games live but i saw the record they're looking good Especially the the offense. No, people are proud. The yeah, offense is really good. What's his name? That made that really crazy goal. Oh, baby. I think so. Yeah, he killed it. Yo, he that killed was it. Too <laughs> that was a classic fucking <laughs> shot, man. He so. actually, you saw the, the 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 way that he was looking at the. It was making a a tunnel vision. Yeah, with that. yeah, yeah. No, he has a. He was like. There were two two goals in that Mozambique game that was crazy. Like two major fucking goals that was amazing. Now I'm proud. I'm proud of these guys, man. I mean, they look like they can go really far. When I look at all the other teams, this is the year, man. They just tied with Egypt, which I thought was a problem because they they have pretty good superstars mm-hmm. with with Trez again. Uh, was that guy Salah? And uh, they have Morocco that went really far in the World Cup. Mm-hmm. So you know they're looking to fucking do something. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know? and, and the game goes until February 11th, I think. So we still have yeah, a Yeah, it could be. Weeks. We still have a few weeks to go. Two yeah. weeks. I think two weeks to go. Two, three weeks to go. Yeah, yeah. man. At Avery, uh, Ivory Coast. Mm-hmm. How you say that in Cape Verde? Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire. Really dope, man. Like, it's, it, uh, that's great. That's how far you see Cape Verde still is. Cape Verde mm-hmm. came a long way, but I don't think Cape Verde is ready to host uh, an Africa Cup like that. Uh, you think? To be honest, no. I don't think they have enough, we don't uh, have enough soccer space. fields. We don't have enough space to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. 
No, I don't know. I don't know. Well, that. Praia, Praia can hold a lot of people. They may. Sa- a, a sal can hold. Did they renovate? But I don't it think or? Sal has a has a has a soccer field. That's. I know that you had a, a dope soccer. They had a soccer field, but it wasn't it wasn't uh, grass, from what I remember. What they were saying, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to talk over because I that was a long time ago that I was there. Okay. But I don't know if they have because you know when you do an international uh, cup like that, you have to have certain standards. So yeah. you have to have housing, hospitals, which yeah. we don't really have. Emergency cases. Um, that's. Yeah, hospitals that we don't really have. That's the reason that Teasive was there for so long, because I did a report because I used to study tourism. I did a report on why there were no other big um, uh, airlines airlines flying to Cape Verde, mm-hmm. especially in Holland. Holland is so small. There's such a big community of uh, Cape Verdeans. Why are there not all these other ones picking up? And the reason that they didn't fly to Cape Verde is because of the uh, the hospitals that was oh, lacking. Okay. Because if something would happen, a crash or whatever, they wouldn't be able to save Provide anybody safety. or whatever. So yeah, so yeah, man. I hope that one day we get to the point where you know we can host a cup like that. I did see that they hosted an uh, Cape Verde hosted the Milka Cabral Cup, but I don't know how big that one is. Mm. But um, to to host an African Cup in Cape Verde, shit, I would be there. You wouldn't be there? Oh, of course. You know, like that's soccer. like a major. You, know, you like soccer like that? Would you be a soccer wifey? Soccer wifey. Yeah, soccer I mean, wifey. a wifey of a soccer player. Of course, probably. <laughs> Why not? Sign me up. That would be nice. I'll be a cheerleader. Yeah, a millionaire cheerleader. What are you talking about? <laughs> a millionaire. Shit. Don't talk about it. Don't, don't leave the money out. Oh, of course. Yeah. Anyway, uh, money money. shout out to Together. Coach Bubista. Shout out to him, man. He's uh, he's brought the team far. The team is looking good. And win or loss, we're already proud of him. So hopefully they can go far. And yes. uh, I need that jersey. Yo, that jersey's fire. Good luck. Yo, there's a bunch of fire ass jerseys in the Africa Cup. I was looking. I was yeah. like, geez, where do I buy this shit? I it's even like googled. The I even googled the the, the Cape Verde. Yeah, you more attention. It's certain ones. Today was a yellow one. I think it was Mozambique. That shit was dope. I was like, yo, that one with some black mm. black shorts. Ooh, mm. ooh. Summertime for cookout. Kill it, kill it. <laughs> um, oh, and shout out to the handball team. Cause they mm-hmm. made it too. They yeah, they won two sick. games. Uh-huh. I don't know if they played today, but shout out to them because they're killing it. They're killing it as well. And they uh, that's the game I used to play. Handball. I told you. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Yeah, you're very aggressive with throwing that ball. School. Were you good? No, I was good. I was in the defensive team. I'm gonna play dodgeball against you. See so how good Whoa. you are. <laughs> well, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? You can't hit me, okay? <laughs> what else can we talk about? Um, I want to do a quick. Uh, since we already talked about it, mm-hmm. we can talk about Carnaval, Vasily. What happened with Carnaval? So, we I feel like this year we should have a better Carnaval. Here in America? No, no, no. I'm just saying Cape Verde, of course. Why? Because they increased the funds. Um, there was an interview with Abraham Vicente, which is the, prime, the, the Minister of Culture. Mm-hmm. Um, he... He and the team had a, a meeting with like the other groups, the official groups of uh, Carnival, mm. and they increased the funds for the festivities. So for so for what which festival in some sense? No, I'm, the, it's the Carnival festival. It's something? like a fund they gave to the groups, and the groups are like from Sunny Cloud and San Vicente. Oh, okay. And also, there's other funds for other groups too that I'm not so sure about their names. But okay. So. They all being like provided with the funds to um, do their projects for the carnival, and mm-hmm. I hope they have fun and know how to make like um, smart decisions on Dope. it, right? Because yeah. it's an opportunity to make it bigger. Well, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna make it bigger than it already. This shit is huge. It is huge. That shit is huge. Have you seen the picture and the fucking air shots of the the drones that they yeah. do? That's you sent me that dope. shit. Yeah, that was dope. And I was like, well, no, how, that was for what the are they going to do festival. now? They did for some insane thing. Oh, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, but I felt like if they had a meeting, it's because they felt like there was a need of like support. You know what I mean? I guess so. I guess so. But, there's, always, there's always more money to be made. <laughs> yeah. There's always more money to be asked. No shout out to them. I, I've seen um, the song Vicente. I've never been for Carnival, but I've seen it. 
Mm-hmm. And I've seen the, the Sidney Cloud one, like, very underrated one. It's very, I don't it know if it's good. underrated. I don't know if people know how good it is, but I always hear about Sunset and uh, Pry, I believe, as well. I actually don't know who started it. Is it Sound Synth or Sonic Cloud? I have to know. I don't know, no. I just know that I just know that it is a super culture in Sonic Cloud. Like huge. Like I, I went to my best friend's wedding uh, two years ago. His wife is from Sonic Cloud. Mm-hmm. They had uh she had to have um what do you call a it? A pre celebration? No, a band. Uh a, a carnival. The, the band said it at the beginning, we are a carnival only band. Mm. And for an hour and a half, I think two hours straight, they played carnival music. That's and dope. she went off and her, she had a performer <laughs> there that, you know, the people that dance mm-hmm. and do all this stuff. She had that. She had uh, just her whole friends or groups. They all are carnival people. And it's crazy. They can listen to that music literally for, I don't know, three, four, five Day straight, like, and just and just rock out, and that's and really like that's a whole a culture great over there. Yeah, yeah. Way to celebrate your wedding. No, no, that was that was For no. They had another DJ, oh, okay. but that was the no, band that, that came, and the, I saw those guys, and I'm party. looking at them. I'm like, yo, these guys look slick. What the fuck are they doing here? I asked my say, what's that? He said, it's a carnival band. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> you got. Shocked. I was like, yo, I'm gonna ask him. He was like, dude, dude, come here, come here, come here, come here. They just play carnival music. They don't take no requests. <laughs> you can't ask them to you sing to request some songs. Lolita or Mila or any of this bullshit. You can't ask them nothing. They they only play, and I love that shit. It's like the DJs that don't listen to your requests. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the DJs that don't listen to requests. I right, fuck mm-hmm. these fuck these party goers. <laughs> All right, they booked you. You play the dope ass music, and you don't listen to to freaking somebody Locking. asking for Taylor Swift and shit. Oh. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jonathan Majors. Did you hear about him? Let's talk about something. Let's go outside the CV world for a second. <laughs> Can you explain the correlation about him with Martin Luther King? I don't... What do you mean? What did he say? They kept making memes about him. I, I guess like he yeah, was obsessed so, with the so no. story of Martin Th- Luther King. That's the, okay, I, I'm not going to talk about, you know, Jonathan Majors. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his work. And I've, I, I've stepped away from judging personal life of of artists because it's it's not we don't know these people you know they're great but we don't really know if we like these people we can we can think that i think i would have a great conversation with this one i think i would you know enjoy the company of uh rihanna or beyonce but you don't really know it could be that you don't like these motherfuckers at all you know (laughs) like you you don't know (laughs) so she's a white girl and he was asking he had sent a text to say hey uh, you know, he's, he's becoming this big fucking... Because he was the biggest, <clears throat> biggest uh, black uh, actor at the time. Like, the biggest one. Mm-hmm. He was going to play Kang. That's like Thanos. Like, that's ridiculous. He was going to... Uh, he had so many movie roles, so many opportunities. Everything was working right for him. Damn, so he was telling her that... See, I guess he had sent a text like, yo, you should... Um, be more like Michelle Obama and Coretta, uh, yeah. Coretta King, uh, who's, yeah. who's uh, Martin Luther King's wife, mm-hmm. because you know they were very strong women or are yeah, very strong women who supported strong like bigger men, you know, yes, even yeah. though they already were great in their right, and the world lost their minds. Everybody was like, "What are you gonna tell a white girl?" Da, 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 da? To, to act like to act like a black like a woman, black I guess. Woman, yeah. But I, I I felt I'm the only one that felt insulted. I felt insulted about that shit because I thought like, listen, okay, let's take Michelle Obama for for like I don't care if you are a white woman, black woman, Asian woman. Any woman can learn from Michelle Obama. Yeah, like Michelle Obama sense. is a is a Harvard graduate. She is a lawyer. In her own right, like a really good a one. She is an author. Mm-hmm. In my book, not even close. The best first lady that we've ever had. Like she could be president nice. herself if America wasn't so biased with sexism and all that shit. Like she could. She could. Yeah. So yeah, she's a black woman. We're proud of her. She's a proud black woman. But she's not just that. She's like so much more. Any woman should be able to learn from Michelle Obama. So him saying. Oh, yeah, you should not. And now all people are killing him because he said that about a white woman. What, a white woman can't learn from Michelle Obama? Michelle Obama is maybe 
10 most influential women of the last decade. So it, I thought that was super whack that people were were were, were saying yeah. that he was wrong with that. I they get it. Find like some something wrong and everything. It's crazy. Say, like. Michelle Obama is a beast in her own right. She could have been president. I love the quote that she had the other day. Uh, I guess they went to the story was dope too. Um, Obama went to a restaurant mm -hmm. and the cook in that restaurant was um, the owner and cook of that restaurant was um, ex of Michelle. Ooh. So, Obama made the joke uh, about man, if you uh, you know if you had stuck with him, you know this whole this nice place would have been yours. <laughs> and she was like, and that's why I think Michelle Obama is such a beast. She said, no, if I was with him, he would be the president of the United States, <laughs> and now you. <laughs> so that shows you like that's what Jonathan Majors was trying to teach this little white delusional girl. Delusional. Ah, woman. delusional. Fuck it. A uh, woman, like, yo, yeah. you can learn a lot from that woman. You know, her her integrity, her discipline. She's a great wife. She's a great mom. Uh, you know, looks like she is. And um, she's a great role model for any woman, yeah, not, I, just, not, just, not, just white, not just black women. But I think it's like the people took it in a wrong way because I think he has an obsession with that. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, so he's like... What is this obsession of him with the I don't care. With Martin Luther King like white fan? I don't show care if my if my if like, I ever had a daughter or anybody that I was I would say yo you should read Princess Diana's book you know mm -hmm. like she was a great woman yeah she's white so what the fuck like you can't learn from other like she's a human being she has human experiences and that's the thing with Michelle Obama it has too. Nothing to do with race. Yeah, it has nothing to do with race. Michelle Obama is like the first black first lady and look how she did it like she did it so dope you know like it was amazing what she did and she should be applauded and she should be Man, she should have followers couple. yeah they, 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 they're, they're, they're very dope they're, they're, they're very, funny they're too. very they're very funny, dope i funny love couples. i love them both <laughs> you saw what happened with the guy um oh, I... the sexual abuse in uh, cv mm. you saw that uh that one so there was a big uh, controversy because there was a guy, a 62-year-old guy, that molested kids, kids, plural, That's seven to t something. between seven and ten, and um, sexually abused them. And he got, from what I could read, and people can correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I could read, he got four years probation, and he had to pay like $2,500 per kid. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Can you repeat the money amount? $2,500. It was uh, 250 mil skut. That's fucked up. That is so messed up, yo. That's something that Cape Verde needs to take up front and do better because mm -hmm. it keeps going on. And then, and even eat the community itself, like, it, it could, it's the people in the street. They're not True. helping each other. True. Did it's you the see, mom did protecting you, their kids. Yeah. Even though even though they know they're wrong. What do you mean protecting their protecting kids? Protecting like if they know their kid is a sexual abuser, yeah. they'll defend their own kids. They won't they won't so, like So if it's like like the mom has like a twenty year old son and he sexually abuses somebody, she'll protect him. Yeah, most of them yeah. will protect their own son knowing that wow. they're doing the wrong thing. That's fucked up. And and if a neighbor sees it, they won't talk. It's like stuff like that. It won't get mm -hmm. better if the community itself, like, that's crazy. Working group, like, to actually be like enough is enough because yeah. it happens in the streets and people see it and just cover their face and that's crazy. ignore it. it I can't believe that it still goes on. Like when you were younger, was there was there a lot of. When you were younger, because you, how old were you when you left Cape Verde? I was 16. 16. And you yeah. were well protected over there? Like, there were a lot of people. Uh, what do you mean, like? Like, like that were worried about something like that not happening to you, so not leaving you alone with anybody. Uh, like, is that like I something that's mom, constantly, yeah. yeah? My mom and also my stepfather, yeah. Yeah. It is super scary because even the people that you actually think you know them, mm -hmm. they might, it's because. 
the people that you already know mm-hmm. know the other people yep. you know what i mean yeah like and then it's like you taking a confidence and trust in like two people mm-hmm. other people that you're not trusting you know you trust that person to stay with the kids but that person it trusts other, other people. people yeah yeah other yeah. person and then I it's don't. just like i don't i i when i'm watching kids like i would never leave my kids at a pool Mm-hmm. With somebody watching them, except for their mom, public, or at a be- or at a I beach or whatever, I would too. I would never do that because of things that have happened in the past with uh, with with close friends of mine, with their their brothers or their kids, and um, mm-hmm. also when I'm watching your kid, I'm watching your kid. Like your kid is in front of me, and I'm, you know, it's not like oh let me turn my back for like five minutes. Like yeah. it doesn't happen. And if I know you well enough to know that that's how you're going to watch my kids then we're good but if i don't Mm -hmm. then i'll say no i'm sorry he's coming with me and i've I've had a lot of people check me like oh you don't trust me yeah i'm like bro i don't know you trust has nothing to do with with not knowing somebody if you don't know somebody you can't trust them like this is not (laughs) that's just putting fate on something yeah yeah but this is foul because this doesn't stop the next pervert this this it doesn't doesn't. like what 2500 oh shit I could, I, I could do that again. Um, it doesn't stop him from doing it again. And it doesn't stop... And, and it's because of that. People don't feel the need of, like, talking about it or doing yeah. better. Because it'd be like, even if I talk, they're still going to do the same shit. The you know sentence, what I mean? The sentence has to be, has yeah. to be harder. That's true. You can't, like... Like, what is... I don't Chop understand. What, I, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for me, for sure. If I was in charge... Oh. Chop that I, I, shit off. I see you doing that. Chop that shit off. You crazy? <laughs> a kid, you're gonna you're gonna abuse, sexually abuse seven year olds, yeah. like, and you're sixty. This is something that's been in our community for a very long time. Yeah, very, very. very and long it's time. um, it's an unpleasant conversation. It's dirty to attach our culture to something like this, but it is yeah. something that is very very cultural actually you know it and is. and um, we need to we need to do something about this we need to speak on it we need to bring it to light and like i said give these motherfuckers 20 years and see if they if anybody's gonna try that shit again and anybody you know and you you'll cut off 50 percent of the perverts at least so it's still gonna be perverts out there um but yeah watch your kids yo Watch how you dress them. And watch how you watch how you yeah, everything, yo. And it, it it mostly happens to the kids that have lost their parents, mm-hmm. or even their parents are away and they're being raised by their grandparents mm-hmm. or by the uncle or yeah. by the auntie, yeah. you know. And that just makes it like kind of difficult for them to yeah, like, process yeah. things once it happens, you know. And understand that there are perverts out there, man. Make sure you, you, especially your daughters, you know, like boys boys as well, of course. I'm not like, we're not even just putting this on women Gender. because this happens yeah. with boys a lot. The only thing is, is that it doesn't come to light because with us, it's like, oh, we can't talk about that shit. Mm-hmm. It's embarrassing, right? But uh, me, it, it's embarrassing for both. Perverts. It's embarrassing for both, but men don't like to play victim, like at all. You know, it... it makes you soften it softens you you know and uh, yeah there, there, there is there's like a crazy. shadow behind you where you think that people are going to bully you just on the fact that you were abused you know oh yeah you uh, you're the abused guy uh, and then people just start making jokes about that so you start keeping it to yourself like whereas if you mm-hmm. get raped there's nobody making a joke about that but if a man gets it Believe me, there's fucking assholes that'll talk shit about you getting your booty touched. Like that's that's fucked up, you know. It's it's really messed up. But yeah, I I think people need to watch their kids better, train their kids better, train their kids to identify what's right and what's wrong. You know, like speak about it. Speak about it. I tell my sons, yo, uh, you're the only one that touches your pee pee. That's it, you know. And now they're at an age where I even tell them, not daddy, not mom, not nobody touches just you. You clean it, you it's yours. And nobody else touches it. And you don't touch anybody else's either. So, yeah. you know, keep your hands to yourself. And uh, <clears throat> that, you know, hopefully that, that helps them. And they can always talk to me if they have an issue. Yeah, and also they should, <clears throat> like, your kids should be open to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they should. They like, should. to you, yeah. They should. But, yeah, fuck that guy. Yes. I hope he gets slapped every time people see him on the street. 
all right because that's some bullshit now let's go to another very uh low point in our community in brockton um young 22 year old joe araujo yeah. got killed and uh in that the worst way man that's crazy that's crazy in brockton. 22 years old um I, I went I went to, I, I went to that restaurant kids. like three weeks prior to that. I was there with my kids and my and, and, and wifey. And for some shit like that to just go down like that, it's it's crazy. I don't yeah, it's crazy out here. It's it's really crazy out here. Huh. Um and the thing is I was reading about it, the guy that that shot him actually was in court a month yeah. before because of uh He was already like in like, Yeah, yeah. That kind of situation of going to jail and yeah. the thing is that it's just unfortunate to be losing um people from our society like that yeah, especially man. for like gang members and especially and at that age yeah you know at it's that age young. 22 is is nothing you know you've yeah. you're way too young and these kids got to learn not to put their life on the line I, I obviously i don't know what happened to him you know, I don't know if, if he was anybody that was anything on the streets or if he was just, you know, an, a, a kid that got into it with the wrong person, you know? It's the fact that he was in the restaurant with this kid and also... His kid was there? Yeah. Yeah? And he's... It was just girlfriend. him and his kid and his girl? Yeah. Wow, that's nuts. Um, and where did he get shot? Like, in his head? He on the chest. That's He crazy. actually went to the hospital and then... End up like yeah, I know his mom made it just know. just in case, just in time to say bye. That's yeah. Yo, um, wow, I didn't know his kid was there. Yeah, that's. Yo, the streets, the streets don't care anymore, yo. Those are it's crazy because there was a time that there were certain rules that you couldn't do, even as a gang member or whatever. Like you couldn't well, like if, if there's you're a situation if you're with your if you're walking on the street with your moms or you're walking with your kids, usually they're supposed to say we'll get you next time. You know, you, you don't do that. Nah, they're evil. Nah, right now, there's no rules with these kids. Yo. Ruleless. And I don't, like, I'm not trying to advocate for criminals or whatever, but I do have a certain respect for criminals who just fuck with criminals. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they don't mess with the, like, the, because the, there's always going to be, there's always going to be cops, criminals, and the people in between. Mm -hmm. Um And the thing, especially where I grew up, there was always kind of rules like that. Like, you don't, you know, you're not gonna beat up on on just a civilian or whatever. You know, if you want to really get it with somebody, go get it with the guys on the corner because they're the ones that want it as well. I've I've said that so many times here in Brockton that I'm playing basketball with some kids and you can tell these kids are like mentally unstable mm -hmm. and you just slap them with a foul and they're like, huh? I'm like, dog, we're playing basketball. Yo, bro, chill out. Oh no no no. What what? You want to go? I'm like, nah, bro. I really don't. I don't want to fight you. Don't worry about it. We're good. If you want to fight, look, this main street, just walk up and down. There's a bunch of niggas that you can fight there. But me, <laughs> I'm good. Don't worry. Oh, you scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I just don't want to fight you. You can look in my eyes and see that I'm not scared of you, but I just don't want to fight you, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that we need to start teaching our kids a little bit more. Like We as men, we only have one um, reaction to aggression. You know, Don't get me wrong. Somebody touches you, you know, mm -hmm. it's done. You know, fuck it. Mess that person up. Whatever. Do whatever you do to protect your, your, your body. But if somebody's yelling at you, like, mm -hmm. for instance, that kid that I was playing basketball with, it was just a guy, just lost his mind. Like, totally lost it just because. And there was no need for it, right? I didn't do anything to him. You could tell that whatever he was dealing with had nothing to do with me. Yeah, it was just... Nothing. It's just <sighs> explosion, and now he wants to come and get me. And I, we were face to face with each other, and I said, and I just said, I just stayed calm. I said, "Bro, listen, we're here to play basketball. All right? I don't want to fight you. You could chill out, bro. Don't worry about it. We're not gonna fight each other. But understand that we're here to play basketball. You know. But if I had reacted same way it as he did, fight. probably fought. I would probably fuck him up because he was kind of short, so I'd probably mess him up. Oh, man, I probably mess him up. But guess what? Now I have a situation where." I don't know who this kid is. He could be unstable. He could be go go into the car, come right back, shoot me in front of my kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what the one thing that I feel that we need to do better when it comes to our kids is like teach these boys to be men, but also teach them that 
Not everything. Being the calmer guy actually takes more strength than being the fucking loose, crazy guy. The loose, crazy guy is actually the one that looks scared in my book. He, he's the one that looks weak in my book. The guy that just stands there and said, yo, I'm good. I don't want no problems. Oh, you a bitch? Nah, I ain't no bitch, bro. I ain't scared, no nothing, but I don't want to fight right now. That, that should be cool. That should be actually accepted more than the guy that's going to just, no, I'm just going to mess you up. Da, 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 da. And then, bram, you're 22 years old. You don't make it home. Whatever, whatever. I'm not saying that, that this is his story, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stories like that out there. Choose who you are, by the way. You know, every, man doesn't, every yeah. man doesn't have to react the same way. Just because you're calm and just because you're relaxed, it doesn't make you soft. It doesn't make you the bitch. It doesn't make you anything. It actually makes you more strong, more more yeah, mature, you're getting more, more anything. Energy to like think, yeah, and process this yeah. situation. You're breathing. That guy, the guy that I'm talking about, was pay, pasting back and forth. You don't know who I am. You don't know why I'm in the streets. <sighs> breathing heavy, and I'm just standing there like, bro, what are you doing? Like this doesn't make any sense. Like. And like I said, I'm, I'm already in my 40s, so I, it's easier for me to be like, to identify like, oh, that guy has war going on that has nothing to do with my peace. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, like, protect your peace, make it home, man, because these young kings are dying like so, so fucking, so fast. It's like vain. Yeah, vain. and they're so we fast because they're, so they, they, haven't, they haven't been taught how to deal with their emotions, you know, how to deal... Yeah. That there are other ways that you can deal with it. Joe Ar Araujo, man, I um, rest, in peace. rest in peace. Paradise power. Um, flowers to his family and uh, to the community. Anybody that knew him, you know, um, can't damn in front of his kid, huh? That's gonna be that's trauma already. Yeah, when I heard that, I was serious like, trauma. Um, but yes, you know, uh, love to his family. Love to um, anybody that was affected by this, man. Um, Let's let's raise our kids better, you know. Let's raise our kids better. There's people out here really moving like they have nothing to lose. And try and make it home by knowing that you have something to lose. You and know I what I mean? Like and walking away or calming the situation does not make you soft. It makes you smart. New music. All right, we, we've we gone to the section of where we choose, both choose one song or two songs. We're not, we're not really good on that right now. But oh, I yeah. think two, let's do two songs today. Yes. So my picks of the week. Uh, so the song that I'm picking is uh, G. Matias featuring Lisa Lopes, Mon Cherie. The name is just Cherie. Is it Cherie? Just Cherie. She says Mon Cherie. I, uh, I actually like the song. It's yeah. good writing. Good singing, good beat. Um, produced by Putu. Um, directed by Nelson Alma uh, Amaru. Uh, shout out to both those guys, man. They do great work. I did like their voices together. Yeah, no. That the, was the, a good the, the music like, itself yeah. was really dope. I think I would give it... I like that they, they wrote uh, together. Like, mm -hmm. not wrote together, but they wrote their singing parts together as well, so that they're singing together. That's going to be dope when they do a show. Uh, I like the words uh, and that it's not as easy written as a yeah. lot of songs out there. Uh, yeah, love, the lyrics is beautiful. Yeah, I love the beat. Uh, I love the vibe. And I can't wait for to see them perform it. Yeah, the only thing is I felt that the video could have been a bit more creative, but, um, but still shout the, out, shout out to Nelson. I think it's the scenario, how it started, the mm -hmm. middle scenario, and then that way it ended you know mm -hmm, what i mean mm -hmm. it, yeah. it was like a nice shot but i don't think it was chronological order <laughs> order i get it guys it's really not easy to shoot videos no, it's not because you invite people they don't show up people are on a time restriction people have full-time jobs and doing this all mm -hmm. in there you know so it is tough you do wish that you have more time to get the best shots and try different things but and also um, massachusetts weather is <laughs> Yeah, and the weather doesn't fucking help, so yeah. But they did a good job, and yeah, um, shout out to them, for real. Um, I can't wait to get them, uh, have them on the show, you know, G. Matias. Uh, and he has a great voice, actually. He does. I like I like. Actually, I did not know it was a part of the album. The album, it's called Tempo. Tempo, yeah. Yeah, so there's like 13 songs in there, but I didn't get to listen to all of them. Yeah. But, yeah. And that one song is on the album? Yeah. That, right, I'm gonna listen to the album. Good. Shout out to him. Nelson Freitas, new song, mm -hmm. Black Butterfly. Tell me about it. Tell me your feelings. 
black butterfly. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if he's referring it to a woman or a moment or it's just black butterfly, but you going that deep with this? Why do you always go so deep in lyrics? Like just let it let this, <laughs> let it go. <laughs> because he's into <laughs> lyrics, so why not? But anyways, um the song is nice, but to be honest, I'm just stuck with Hero. You're still I, I, stuck with Hero? That song came out, I'm like, whatever, okay. <laughs> Hero. Hero was Hero actually got better over time. It did. Right? I yeah. Because the first time me. I heard it, I was like, uh. Oh, first time good. I heard it, I was like, yeah. But now I hear it, I'm like, so this shit is banging. Yeah, and it's faster was, than I it, thought. It's and growing and, on yeah, me. Yeah, no, for sure. And I was like, why did sure. you not have that much attention to it in the beginning? But anyways, for but sure. It Arrow, just Hero better. is, uh, and, it, it, and it already it passed so a million streams views. as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But back to Black Butterfly. <laughs> I love the, the video clip. The video clip, like the dark ambience like it was, it was I, uh, cool. I like I, that I like and with the I like the song um I don't love it too much but I like it but that's Me the thing too. that's the thing with Nelson like Nelson is so he's again. so good that I, I don't remember him making a bad song in like the last like decade or two decades or whatever like the new, album. the new album is gonna be dope but this can't be an album standout this song like I think that it's a great song but it's not what I'm looking for to promote my album so that's what I'm like and what's well, the album gonna sound I told you, I'm still what's the album gonna it, sound like it. because this is a great album record it's a great song that's mm -hmm. you know it, production great of course you know the it's gonna be the more singing is, is great as well I like it I, I like I said I don't love it love it but like I said, this can't be an album standout. Like the video was good, very stylistic. You know, he's really getting into that world of you know, like I am human. <laughs> I am I am human. I am you know. He's Cape Verdean. He's a broad Cape Verdean, and he's yeah, done he enough for the Cape Verdean culture as well. But now mm -hmm. I feel like he's like a world artist. Like you know, he doesn't dress. No. He dresses a certain way. His videos are a certain sh a certain way, certain style, and I think it's dope. I um, I thought the video was was good, but it, you know, it was simple. Like exactly I don't have to go back to. I don't have to go back to it. You know, I think it's. I think it was dope. I think With it was the contemporary dancing. Yeah, yeah. that was. That it was, was that nice. was sick. That was sick. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I liked it, but I, I maybe I feel like the video and the and the song don't go together. Like maybe maybe um, maybe that's it. He didn't show. The girl or whatever the person that he's, yeah, he's talking, talking about. about. So yeah, it's of that course. was good. They already know not to do usually that. Usually it's just like that. Yeah. Which is like you went up into a different yeah. field, which yeah. is like the contemporary like dancing, and it was like all black. So mm -hmm. that was good. I like the shots. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, like I said, it up was it was on the top of the building. It was that dope. Was it was dope shots. It was a dope. I don't know what that is, house or whose house that is. That was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just love that we have a, a artist, you know, that's Cape Verde that could do things like that. Like he was at the Pharrell party. He was taking pictures with Pharrell at the Louis Vuitton party. Like shit like that is is dope. Louis Vuitton, to, like to have somebody that's from the from the same neighborhood as you know you grew up or the same island as where you grew up and. Look what he's doing now, you know? It's amazing, amazing. Shout out to Nelson. I can't wait for the album. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be hard on the album, Nelson. I like this song. I don't love it, but he doesn't make bad records. He just doesn't, he doesn't miss mm -hmm. at all. There is a new video clip by Ruben Teixeira, Ranja Kumi. Ruben! And the, the video what does was it do, shot. What does it do to you? That song is just like, what a man would do when he's really in love with a girl. Mm. Yeah, he mm. says it all. Yeah. Like I'll make your dad like me. Really? Yeah, he said that. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Because you want to be with that girl, like you do whatever. Yeah, but what if you don't like the dad? If he doesn't like, 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 no, okay. You like the girl. One thing that guys gotta understand. Prompt. No, no, no. This is this Go ahead, is this it. is a real one. Mm -hmm. No, your girlfriend's father doesn't really like you. Don't say that. He doesn't fucking like you. 
You Yo, are you are putting you are praise. putting a sweet little innocent girl in a bunch of positions that his dad doesn't even want to talk about or think about. He doesn't fucking like you. <laughs> I'm so sorry because you have. You do the nastiest shit with this Ooh, girl, and hey, you you, are, you, you think he lucky. loves you? Huh? You lucky you have boys. I have boys, shit. That's why you were saying that. All I the same boys. I understand. Stop, stop. You know I'm right. They never really like you. What you mean you're gonna take my daughter and do what? So another song that I want to talk about. Yeah. Is they don't know me. They it's don't by know. Bokush. Bokush. This this rapper. Yeah. He's a rapper. He's a Verdian. Um, he made this video clip with um, a Rap K mm -hmm. production. Mm -hmm. um, so this video is out on YouTube and you sh should check it out because it was a dope song. Okay, um, nice. The video clip is very nice and also the lyrics is like, I know a lot of people feel that they can understand it mm -hmm. and feel it because it's about um, young generation right now. How mm. they're dealing with depression, okay, anxiety, nice. and living here and being far away from their parents. That's a big one. And how how you have all the stress in America. Oh yeah. And it's just like dealing with difficult situations like that, and then you you end up like going to alcohol or drugs because True. you feel like you have no support. True. So the name of the song is "They Don't Know Me" and. Look it up on YouTube. Right. And also, he has more work on his page. And Bokash mm -hmm. is the rapper. Okay. Um, I'm gonna listen to the, it's a good rap name. The video, <laughs> the video was produced by um, Rap K, um, which is under this guy, Escape Virgin 2. His name is Most Boss. Most Boss, yeah. Most Boss? Oh, shit. All right. That's Cal the name like he it. goes by. So, right. he's the one that created Rap K. Okay. And Rap K is a platform that he created in order to have all the CV rappers, uh, rappers have like a, a platform where they can have their projects okay, nice. done and also recognized. You know, he wants to create this platform. I mean, he already created that the, the minorities, like the mm -hmm. rappers, and don't have their recognition of their work. Mm -hmm. They have that platform to make it Always, like yeah. aware okay. um, for other people to listen and also uh, work dope. as a group. He directs the, he does the video direction. So yeah, okay. go go for him. So man. he has a lot of skills. Go for him. Um, go for him. I like it. I so like this it. platform should be like having more projects coming up. And it's Rap K. Mm -hmm. Rap, Rap K, K production. Uh, that stands for rap Creole. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you write Creole with K? Yeah. A lot of people write it with C too. I mean, K Virgins, we like whatever doing the fuck whatever we do. Who does who, <laughs> there's no there's no rules. I went to Domingown <laughs> at the pyramid. I wanna give a shout out to my guy Carga for uh for the invite. That was really dope. Shout out to the owner of Pyramid too. Um they, to they they've done a great job there. Like they still, I can see they're still trying to figure out the best ways to set the things up, but the way it looks, it looks really good, you know, and especially lighting, which I always feel that a lot of clubs like Cavernian spots, they lack mm -hmm. the lighting in there is really dope. They have lighting on the floor. It's Whoa. yeah, they can do a lot of great shit there and they're going to be doing a lot of shows there too. Uh, so shout out to, out? Uh, shout out to Domingon, which is so always dope. Now, huh? You definitely missed. And shout out to Pyramid, man. You guys are doing great. And the sound is really good, too, there. Yeah. Mm. And when you're dancing, they have, like, a real dance floor with, like, lights. It's really... It's, it, there's a lot of potential there. A lot of potential, for sure. And also, um, February 17th, there is a Carga event with Ronald and Rome on Valentine's mm. Day. Or on Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day switch, weekend. Switch. February 17th. Uh, Ronaldo and Rome will be performing. It's a DJ Karga event, so you know the DJ is gonna be dope. So shout out to Karga, man. Thank you so much for uh, for that invite uh, to Domingo, and I'm pretty sure that this event is gonna be dope as well. Oh, shout out to Marvelous Cuts. I always wanted to go and support because I love what Lex did it. Yo, what he did to that place, Pff, fucking amazing, I mean, man. I won't, I won't be it's just you know, fucking black. Song. It's just CV excellence, like the way it looks. Everything that he has in there, the mm -hmm. way they, the way they, uh, the way you approach when you walk in, 
the way it smells, the way Boston? it looks. It's in Boston, downtown. Oh, Boston. Boston. Downtown Boston. Just so you know, people, I'm going to be reviewing a lot of places. The way I judge a place is by the bathrooms. If your bathroom fucking sucks, then fuck it. Your place oh, is yeah, whack. I hate that. Mm. <laughs> and the play and the bathroom at Marvelous Cuts? Ah, oh, shit. Dope. Yeah, I, I did I tell sick, you that? Sick. What? That like Cape Virgins. Mm -hmm. not, not saying Cape Virgins, but I'm saying the places that Cape Virgin promoters are doing, yeah. they're not taking care of the bathrooms. Never, never, never. Like, what's wrong never. with you? There are places here in Brockton where at bars where I've gone to that a broken a broken a broken mirror in the rest a broken mirror in the restroom has been there for 10 years so, yeah, i'm bringing it up definitely Mezzo, please i don't 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 <laughs> the ladies bathroom the bathroom in the corner is broken like, it's been broken for years hey thomas like, Mezzo, what's going on put some money in there dog the ladies room with two toilets that's crazy only that's like, crazy come on. No. Let's stop stop that anyways thank you so much for watching us and uh sure. i can't wait to to interview our guest uh this saturday that's gonna be dope we'll see you guys sure. on the next one love love deuces <laughs>